Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to continue with rates of change. You will find this on page 278 in the Namibia A is level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Water is dripping into a container from a leaking tap such that the depth height of the water in the container at the time T seconds is given by this function. Find the depth of the water when T0, T is 4. It's just the depth, so it's actually just the value of H first. So, when T is 0, I just substitute in the place of T, 0, and I find 1. So, substitute into the original formula. Uh, when T is 4, so when T is 4, I substitute now 4 and I get 3. So, when T is 4, the depth of the water in the container is 3 centimeters. Okay, now, here comes the word. Find the rate of change. Okay, so now, as soon as you see rate of change, now you will know, it's, it's almost like find the gradient at that point. And as soon as you find the gradient of a curve, it's indicating differentiate or differentiate the equation. Okay, so differentiate H with respect to T. Just remember, um, I'm just following the short way of the chain rule. And then after that, when T is 4, I substitute now in the derivative function or in the differentiated function, I substitute 4 and I get a third. So the rate of change of H at T is 4 is one third centimeter per second. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I just want you to do try now 20. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number A. After taking a, a dosage of certain medicine for T hours, the amount M milli of the medicine remaining in the body of a patient is given. Okay, there is the formula. I'm always looking first for my function. So what is my function? This is my function. Or my equation. Now, find the amount of medicine remaining in the patient's body when T is zero. So, this is just substituting in the equation. And that will just be 50. Okay. And then, and so the amount of medicine remaining is 50 milligram. So we continue. This was the first one. Now the second one. When T is 2. And now I substitute 2. And that will give me an answer of 10. So the amount of medicine remaining is 10 milligram. And now we will come to, let's just make it another color, B. Find the rate of change. Rate of change, gradient to a curve, differentiate. So I will just take my formula, get it ready to differentiate. I'm just taking this part. Okay, let me first write it. Okay, now I can differentiate. Let's follow the short way again. So we're going to say dm and I differentiate to t. So differentiate first the outside. Oh, 50 multiply negative 1, it's negative 50. Subtract 1. So as soon as I subtract 1, I get negative 2. And multiply by the inside. So if I differentiate that, this, I get 2t. 
the bracket, the inside. And if I multiply this, this will be negative 100t. And now I bring it down. And that's to the power of 2. Okay. And now, find the value of m at t is 2. So when... Can I just move this to this side? When t is 2, dm over dt will be equal to negative 100. Okay, and now I will substitute 2. And that will give me an answer of, okay, I could just simplify, negative 200. This is 1 plus 1, so it's 4. Okay, let's just see. This is, oh, oh, I made a mistake. Sorry, I just see it. I substitute 1, I should have substitute, just going to correct it. I should have substitute 2. So then it will be 4 plus 1, which will give me um, 4 plus 1. So that will be give me 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. That's better. So that's 25. And now I can say, so the answer will be negative 8. So therefore, the rate, just want to move it up a little bit. The rate of change of M when T is 2 is negative 8 milligrams per hour. That will be my final answer.